fiscal year 2016 was really a time of, of growth and excitement for UHV. Many of you were at the ribbon cutting uh, for the new North Building, our uh, academic, uh, regional, and economic development center building. And uh, we're so pleased to be in that new facility. We're, uh, we're working on lots of other facilities. We're uh, about to buy, I think we're about to buy, the uh, 132,000 square feet of the Town Plaza Mall. And that's gonna do some amazing things for UHV as well as I hope for the city. I think it'll make a difference in that port part of the city in terms of revitalizing it. It's gonna give us an opportunity to do a lot of things that we don't have to wait until we build new buildings for. We have uh, about 10 acres of land there, uh, 800 parking spaces, I think, and the shuttles to handle students. So that's gonna be a, a great addition for us. We're also planning a new science, uh, engineering, technology, and mathematics building uh, on uh, land that we've purchased from Victoria College, and we're grateful for their cooperation in the purchase of that land. And, and I think David Hines owes me a drink because I think we've signed all the, all the papers <laughs> and got that done. So uh, we're excited about that. <laughs> It, uh, it took a while, but it's done and we're, uh, we're pleased. And it'll be right across from the North Building, right in front of our center building there, about the same size as the North Building, about 65,000 square feet. We are uh, about to finish up the planning. In fact, I think before Christmas, we'll finish the color coordination and the, and the layout of a new student center and learning commons. Uh, it'll be about 75,000 square feet. Uh, it's going to be across Ben Wilson from uh, the center building. And uh, that's the new library and the student center. And it's going to be an absolutely wonderful place for students and for uh, the things that students uh, enjoy doing. We uh, also have uh, finalized, I think, the plans, or at least purchasing the plans for a new residence hall. It will be a 380-bed residence hall, and it'll be there across Ben Wilson. So I'm optimistic that before the spring semester is over, I, I've been here for about two years, and I've been talking about all these building projects we've got, and I haven't seen a shovel turn yet. But I'm optimistic this time that by the spring semester, we're going to actually see some progress on our construction, and that we'll actually have these three or four buildings under construction by the time we get to the summer. All of these will open within the next two, or two to three years. And that's why the Town Plaza Mall is so important to us. Two to three years to build a building and the Town Plaza Mall is built. We can renovate that in a very short time period. Uh, and we can do lots of, of things there while we're waiting for these new buildings uh, to be constructed. So we're really excited about that. In addition to that here in Victoria, uh, many of you know we've also opened uh, our new facility in Katy, 43,000 square feet on the Grand Parkway in Katy. We moved into there on August the 15th. We're teaching classes there. That's going well. Uh, we're excited about that. And, and the readers of the Katy Times newspaper voted UHV the best college in Katy. So that's hard to beat as we move in there. Now, there really are other colleges in Katy, so we weren't the only one. UHV's growth uh, was recognized in the Chronicle of Higher Education in the 2015-16 Almanac edition. We were named the seventh fastest growing master's university in the nation from 2003 to 2013, and that was about an 86% growth rate. We're, uh, we're still growing. This fall, our enrollment is about 4,143 students. Uh, that includes online in Victoria and in Katy. Uh, but the growth in Victoria is about an 11% increase from the fall of 2015. So we're growing faster here uh, than we are in other places. And that, of course, is our goal. We intend to be 6,000 students by 2025. and, and uh, 
we're optimistic that if we don't make 6,000, we're going to be close. So uh, we're excited about that. Our successful distance learning program and distance learning was one of the things that we did very early back in the, uh, in the uh, mid, early to mid 90s. We started distance learning when nobody else had it and we grew like crazy. Now everybody's got it and we're having to compete. But we were recognized as number five in the nation for the best affordable online colleges offer online, offering both affordable and quality online programs. So that's an exciting recognition that we received. In UHV's spring commencement ceremony, and a number of you were there for that, we, uh, we had uh, two new uh, events at that ceremony. We had a, an alumni, alumni Lifetime Achievement Award, and we offered the first honorary doctorate that has been offered outside of UH campus in the UH system. Uh, Dr. Karen Garza, a two-time UHV alumna uh, and superintendent of Fairfax County ISD School District, was presented with the Alumni Award. And Bing Chen Wu, president of the and chairman of the Sanzu Group, which is a Chinese company involved in healthcare, medical devices, and e ecological uh, cosmetic industries, was awarded a Doctor of Humane Letters. And as I said, this is the first doctorate that's been awarded outside the UH campus, uh, and, and we had the privilege of, uh, of doing that. Uh, Dr. Wu and his wife, Xinqian Fu, Fing, excuse me, uh, pledged about $600,000 to UHB School of Business Administration in 2013, and their generous support has enabled a, a, a large number of students each summer to go to China uh, to study abroad uh, in China each summer, and those young people come back with amazing experiences and amazing knowledge about the global society in which we live. The week following commencement, UHV got to host the uh, Board of Regents meeting here in Victoria. It's the first time since 2010, and that's the first time it's been outside the main campus in uh, a number of years. And we were uh, excited about that and pleased and honored to host the Regents here in Victoria. We, uh, we were presented at that meeting uh, the Regents Academic Excellence Award, and it was presented to the UHV American Book Review Reading Series, uh, which brings nationally recognized authors to Victoria. And many of you have participated in some of those lectures and some of the receptions and met uh, those outstanding authors as they've come. Uh, what is it, 96, 97 now authors? 95. 95. I should have remembered that because Jeffrey DeLeo reads every name before the first. <laughs> he doesn't leave the author any time at the first ceremony each year. <laughs> Tradition. Tradition. So anyway, it's been an amazing year for UHV. Let's go. Uh, Many of those highlights uh, would not have happened without the hard work of a lot of former administrators and faculty and staff and community members during the last four plus decades. Uh, in 1973, UHB began as an off-campus center of the University of Houston. And uh, it's amazing how far we've come since that time. It's been a, a great, growth process. Uh, because of all the successes that occurred during the past year, we're going to uh, continue to look forward to the future, and that's why we've selected Destination Success as our theme for the program tonight. Tonight we've asked students, faculty, staff, alumni, and community members uh, to come together with us uh, to talk about their successes in 2015-16, which is the year that we're doing our annual report. We've put together a series of short videos to uh, focus on those uh, folks and the things that they've done. And uh, you may have noticed that you don't have an annual report booklet at your table. 
It's online. The whole program is completely online. It's an easy website. It's uhvannualreport.com, and you can view the report there.